As Sophia Petrola would say, picture it, Sicily, 1922. Or in my case, Poway, California, 1985. Imagine for a moment, four-year-old me, growing up the youngest member of a very loud, very crowded, multi-generational home. Sharing a home with my 85-plus-year-old great-grandmother meant she chose the evening TV. She deserved it. She'd been living the longest. That meant our evenings were filled with such gems as Matlock, Murder, She Wrote, The Lawrence Welk Show, and The Golden Girls. The Golden Girls were always my favorite in that not in any way in my age demographic shows I watched as a child. From the original airings, to my two-hour binge this morning to calm my nerves. No, seriously. <laughs> These four women have been crass, outspoken, supportive, hilarious, snarky, beloved women in my life. I, I don't know what I'd do without them, frankly. Now, I'm 35 years old. That means I've been watching the Golden Girls for 32 freaking years. <laughs> Let's just say I've fallen down the rabbit hole. My dedication comes in a variety of forms. Things like kickstarting a Golden Girls coloring book and traveling very great distances to attend the premier Golden Girls podcast out on the lanai. In the social media world, it takes on such forms as, you know, joining every single Golden Girls group on Facebook, and uh, Twitter stalking my favorite Golden Girls artist, I'm pretty sure we're BFFs now. And two years ago, I made it permanent with my beloved Golden Girls tattoo <laughs> that I have with my two best girlfriends, my Rose and Blanche to my Dorothy. So I think what I'm trying to tell you is I am definitely a self-proclaimed expert on all things Golden Girls. And I'm going to take the next couple minutes to teach you a few things they taught me and hopefully endear you guys to them the way I love them. Statement piece. Always rock your statement piece. You'll never see me without my rainbow unicorn hair. You never saw Sophia without her purse. You never saw Dorothy without her shoulder pads. Be proud. Always rock it. As Sophia once said, sluts just heal quicker when referencing Blanche's healthy sexual appetite. What's the message here, you ask? Don't slut shame people. Go forth. Have as much sex as you want. Just be safe about it. Let's take a moment to discuss how different these four women were. Rose with her eternal optimism and naivety. Dorothy with her sarcastic, dry sense of humor. Blanche with her openness and willingness to do anything. And Sophia, with her tough-as-nails mama bear exterior. I mean, these four women really taught me to embrace differences and come together. We're all different. That's what makes us fantastic. Did you know that there are six different episodes in The Golden Girls that discuss and or include transgender characters? Think about that for a moment. For a show that debuted in 1985, to be that open and proudly supporting the LGBTQ community was unheard of. Talk about embracing differences and building each other up. What a powerful message. <laughs> These fish are not the golden girls. But much like all of us on this planet, we're all different and we're all in it together. Let's remember that lesson these four ladies taught us. And when all else fails, cheesecake. <laughs> No, seriously, I'm not kidding. Cheesecake can solve any problem. Did you know that in 180 episodes of The Golden Girls, they sat around that table 112 times, ate cheesecake, discussed their woes, resolved their differences, 
and agreed to move into the world as better, stronger people. So, thank you, Dorothy, Sophia, Rose, and Blanche, for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You'll always be my pals and confidants. Thank you.